Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Taurus? thinking man the thinking man we have a man that is thinking 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 so if you are a woman or a woman that is watching this this does not say woman okay it says man so we have and we know how people like to make the story there they gotta make the story there so they'll do it in their head right that is not the case this is a man that is thinking. They are thinking about what they have to offer. Maybe thinking about a diamond. They may be thinking about um, a connection. Thinking about a spiritual connection of some sort. We definitely have a man that is thinking about his future, what he has to offer, what he wants to offer, what he doesn't want to offer. Um, he may be, you know, what I want to say is he's thinking about marriage or he's thinking about commitment. Um, that's a rock. It is. A crystal is, is, a, is a form of rock, right? So somebody is definitely thinking, and they may be thinking about their rock, you know, because another person can be somebody's rock. Um, anyhow, we definitely have a thinking man that is thinking about... Um, what they want to offer, okay? And I feel like there's some sort of completion here because that equals 10. So there's a completion. This, I feel like there's a completion of a cycle, okay? Now this person is thinking about what they want, put it that way. This man is very logical, whoever this man is. This man is somebody that is very intelligent, very smart. Um, doesn't do anything without, you know, weighing the pros and cons. So whoever this person is, they are a very sharp-minded individual. Pin. New job or career. You may be getting a new job offer this week. Crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. It could be an enterprise. So there is something new that is coming in. Definitely. Definitely something new is coming in. Um, interesting. And it feels like there is a man that is making the offer. If you are a man that is watching this... You probably have something of value to offer somebody. And I feel like you're probably in the process of thinking, you know, should I or shouldn't I or whatever. Um, there is a chance for a new life here, a new beginning. Absolutely. What do we have? For Taurus. Ten of Swords. There has been a completion. There has been a completion. This man, whoever this man is, has had a completion in their life. Something has ended. This is the end of a painful situation. Somebody has suffered. They, they may have reached rock bottom. Okay, so, and, and you know, now they, they may need some help or they may want some help or they're thinking about where they've been or they think about the pain that they've caused or something like that. But this, whatever this is, this is the end of a painful situation. Somebody has suffered. There's probably been a betrayal with the Ten of Swords. There has been a betrayal. Somebody has hurt another person. Take a look at that. Okay, somebody, that didn't happen by itself. Okay, somebody has hurt another person, they've betrayed another person, and now they're thinking about what they've done. That is exactly what is going on here. 
But this is the end. Tens are completions. Four plus six equals ten. So we have a completion here, which is the end of a situation. It's the death of a situation. So something has ended for this man. Page of Swords. So we have somebody here that... Um, it feels like this person is watching. They may be spying. They may be... They're definitely thinking a lot. There's a lot of thoughts going on here. A lot of thoughts. It's all about thoughts. Okay, this person is really... They're probably thinking about communicating. They may be having a hard time communicating. Maybe they are immature. You know, there's image when you get a page, we have immaturity here. So I do believe there is a message that this person is thinking about giving a message or sending a message, um, but they're having a hard time communicating. This person may be on the defensive, you know. I feel like they're curious, you know, and they want to communicate, but it feels like they are unsure as to whether they should or not. Um, maybe they feel like it's too late. Maybe they feel like it's too late because this is death, right? It's over. It's too late. Maybe they feel like it's too late. King of Coins. So we have somebody here that is very stable, um, devoted, hardworking, that has worked really, really, really hard to be stable and solid and secure. This is somebody that is a, that may be a business owner. This person may be focused on their money, focused on their job. Fo they've been focused on that. You know, this is somebody that wants stability, that wants security, and knows that they have a lot to offer. And it feels like they are looking at something, somebody that they hurt. They are definitely looking at somebody they hurt. And they, they probably see value and this could be you, male or female, okay? This could be, they probably see some sort of value in you. Um, they may see your loyalty. They may see your stability. They may see your um, groundedness. They may see your capability, you know, that you're responsible. You know, but this is, this is definitely a very um, stable individual that is hardworking, that is definitely looking at, or thinking about communicating whoever this person is. And it's because they probably know that you have a lot to offer. You know? Um, there's abundance here. There's abundance. So somebody sees your abundance. They do. They see your value. It's clear. It's clear that you can grow things, that you have growth. Look at, look at the harvest here. It's like you have an ability to grow things. So I feel like we have somebody that is thinking about what you can do, and, but they've hurt you. In the, I think this is somebody that you know. I feel like this is somebody that has betrayed you in the past. I do. There's, there's definitely a betrayal. Or you have been betrayed by somebody. And you have another opportunity with somebody that is real, that is stable, that is solid, that is secure, that wants a commitment. Because the king of coins wants commitment. Is committed. Typically. Not in reversed. But in the upright. But anyhow, we have somebody here that is definitely thinking about what they did or thinking about giving something to you by the looks of things. So, oh my God, the six of coins is about giving. This was just clarity. It's Jesus. So yeah, somebody is thinking about giving something to you. This is somebody that, or, or if they haven't given it to you already, maybe for some of you, there could be, you know, a proposal here. Somebody may have been proposed to, or you may be getting a proposal or something. I keep seeing a rock, you know, or they may think you are their rock or whatever. Anyway, somebody is wanting to give you what you deserve, okay? They're going to be generous with you, or they're thinking about being generous with you. It feels like you may have been waiting. You may have been begging. It looks like this person has been begging. They've been begging. They've been abandoned. You see the five pentacles on the bottom. There's one up there. Somebody has been abandoned. They've been ghosted. They've been neglected. 
okay? But there's another opportunity right there. So I feel like we, we have somebody that may have abandoned you or they may have neglected you or something like that that really has something for you. You know, this is, this is something real. It is something real. It is something solid and stable. They, they have a gift for you or they, have, they, they want to give you something. They want to give you something that uh, you deserve, you know, and I feel like you've been waiting for it. It feels like you've been begging for it, you know, and it's been just out of your reach for some reason. This could definitely be a proposal for some of you. It could be a ring. Somebody may be getting a ring. Um, but anyway, because um, if you think about the Ace of Pentacles, it's shaped like a ring. And I really feel like for somebody who's going to get a ring, um, this person has been uh, saving. They've been Maybe they've been saving for it. Or they've been waiting. They've been waiting for the right time or something like that. It's definitely harvest time because of the. I can see that it's harvest time. It's uh, anyway. I do believe you're going to be receiving a very generous offer that you have been begging for. Okay, whether you've been praying for it or whatnot, you are going to be receiving an offer from somebody. This is a real offer. This is real. This is. Um, It's yours. It's going to be yours, whatever it is. Whoever this person is, they they have a lot to offer you. They have a lot to offer. But And I feel like they... Right now, it feels like they're doing a lot too much thinking. They're thinking, thinking, thinking instead of offering. It's almost like they're playing with you. I mean, this person almost looks like they're playing. It's like, come and get it. Come and get it. Well, if you are a female, don't come and get it. Okay, you let that man come to you. We have a thinking man here. You let that man come to you if you know your value. Because this man wants somebody that knows their value. This is about equality, okay? And this is somebody that, you know, will treat you with equality, you know, will treat you as you deserve. You don't, you shouldn't have to beg. You should not have to beg. So I don't know who that's for, but you shouldn't have to beg for anything. Three of Cups, there could be a reunion, there could be a celebration, a get-together, communication, happy news. I do believe there, there's, there could be a, an upcoming celebration. Somebody may want a reunion with you, or they may want to... This could even be social media use. This could be dating. This could be somebody new. Okay, it could be. This could be a past life connection where there's been a betrayal. There has definitely been a betrayal here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyhow, but there's, there's, there's an opportunity for happiness. You're going to be communicating, socializing, having fun, or dating, or something with somebody. Okay? Um, this is somebody that um, could probably make you happy. Maybe even help you heal. This person, um, maybe, I feel like this person may be in a position of authority. Whoever this man is. If you are the man watching this, you may be in a position of authority. You have to take action. Don't make your woman beg. Just saying. And that could be the that could be the pain that was caused. You know, I'm going to I'm going to keep it out of reach. I'm not going to give it. And that could that's extremely painful. That's hurtful. That's me. You know. So anyway, um, there could be an upcoming celebration a get together or a reunion for somebody. Um, this could be dating, it could be online, it could be online dating. Anyway, if that's what you are into. But anyhow, um, there is a message that is coming. This person um, does have a lot to offer and it could make you happy. It could pick you up from this place where you have been betrayed. Okay, this could, this, this could change everything. If this is job related, you are going to bring, get an offer that brings you stability, that brings you abundance if this is job related. Somebody is going to see your value. There could be an increase in money here for you. 
whatever is happening, there is abundance and you're going to be receiving. If this is money related, you could be getting a raise, you could be getting a payout. Whatever this is, you are going to be getting something that leads to abundance and makes you want to celebrate. This is the end of a painful situation. Okay, it is. Ten of Cups. Wow. So the Ten of Cups is happiness. Okay, this is the storm is over. It's a spiritual blessing. This is fulfillment. It's a permanent love. Okay, so you're this is this is like forever. Forever. Because forever is real. When you get with the right person, it's real. So anyway, there is an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. After this, it's the end. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. It's time to celebrate. It's time to have fun. I do believe that you are going to be receiving an offer that leads to permanent stability and abundance. This is a lot of abundance. Okay, if you have if you have been suffering, if you have been in a betrayed, it's over because there is somebody here that has something for you. Okay, there is somebody here that has something for you. This leads to happily ever after. Right? I mean the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. And I feel like you've been begging for it. You've been waiting for it. You know, if you are the man watching this. I suggest you get off your, your ass and get moving. I'm just saying. Um, because it is the man, the very first card that came out, and I made it a point to say that it was a man, not a woman. There's a man here that has been thinking a lot. He has been thinking a lot about his future. He has been thinking a lot about his happiness. And he's been sitting there thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and holding on to his stability and focusing on his job, focusing on his work when there's an opportunity for happiness here. You may have to take action and give to the situation. Somebody needs to give. They need to stop putting it out of reach and put it, put it in that person's hand. Anyhow. I do see a get together. I see I do see a celebration, a getting together of some sort. This is something to celebrate. You know, if we have a we have a man and a woman and a child, and then we have these three people getting I see three three people getting together. And I don't think it's a third party situation. I think well maybe there's it's the end of a third party situation. Maybe there's been third party interference. And this could be severing ties. This man has had an ending in his life. Now he's ready. He's ready for stability. He's ready for security. He's ready to give. So anyway, I do believe you're going to you you're you're going to be getting a message or you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody or this person is thinking about making an offer, but there is extreme happiness here. This is the birth or conception of a child or enterprise. I'm just reading that card. You have something new that is coming and it is going to make you extremely happy. So if you, if you have been suffering, it's over. This is the death of a painful situation. This is, this is extreme happiness. You, you can just... Be happy now, whatever that is. This is this is great. This is a completion of a cycle too. Ten, 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 ten. I mean, a cycle of suffering is over, right? So anyway, Taurus, uh, consider this a blessing. You are about to be blessed with something that you deserve. Good luck. <laughs>